Do you know the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan are upon us and these are actually very special days. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha tells us as it's mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari that when the last 10 days approached the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam she said shadda mi'zara that he would tighten his waist belt and what this means is that he would work extra hard in these last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. So that being said here are my top three pieces of advice or top three tips for the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. Number one, make time for private worship. What I mean by private worship is the worship that is not done in the masjid, not done in congregation, rather worship that is just between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best of that would be Qiyamul layl or standing in Qiyam, standing in prayer in the last third of the night. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Afdal al-Salah ba'd al-Fariba, Salatul layl that the best prayer after the Fard prayers, the obligatory prayers, is the night prayer. Yes, we've been focusing a lot on the Taraweeh prayer and the congregational prayers and that is very good. And yes, continue to do that in the last 10 days and nights of Ramadan. But also make sure that there's time for worship that is between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. These last 10 nights are an intensely spiritual time and the way to enhance that spiritual experience is to pray that Qiyam prayer or the night prayer. Number two, treat every night as it is Laylatul Qadr. You know, we know about Laylatul Qadr as the Prophet said, Man qama Laylatul Qadr imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. That the person who stands Laylatul Qadr, meaning stands in prayer, having faith and hoping in the reward of Allah, then all of their previous sins will be forgiven. So yes, it is very important that we seek out Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr occurs in these last 10 nights and yes, it is, there's more of a chance that it happens on the odd nights and yes, there's a strong possibility that it is the night of the 27th but that doesn't mean it is definitely the night of the 27th. A lot of people treat it that way and that means they neglect the rest of the last 10 days and nights of Ramadan. Some of our scholars say that the wisdom behind why the Prophet didn't tell us exactly which night is Laylatul Qadr or to specify one night of Laylatul Qadr is so that we work hard on every single night when it comes to the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So treat every night as it is Laylatul Qadr. Treat every night as this is the last chance that you have to seek forgiveness from Allah, to have all of your sins forgiven. Number three, dua, dua, dua. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ad dua huwa al-ibadah. Dua, supplication is Worship or dua is the essence of worship. Dua is one of the most important aspects of our worship and that is why this is the time to build the habit of making sincere dua from our heart. Once we beautify our dua, once we connect our heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not only will our dua become better, but it will also help improve our other acts of worship as well. If our dua is good, then our prayer, for example, will be good as well. So use these last 10 days and last 10 nights to perfect your your dua to beautify your dua. And we know that Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha that she asked the Prophet she said, Oh Messenger of Allah, if I come upon Laylatul Qadr, what dua should I make? The Prophet said, make the dua, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are the forgiver and you love to forgive so forgive me. This is the dua that we focus on in these last 10 days and last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan. This is a beautiful dua because it helps once again attach our heart to Allah. It makes us hopeful. We say, oh Allah, you love to forgive. And because Allah loves to forgive, we have to believe that. We understand that. And that's why we repeat that. We say that, oh Allah, you love to forgive. So forgive me. And all of that is there so that our hearts get attached to Allah and we are hopeful in the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So perfect your dua, work on your dua, beautify your dua so it can help you in the rest of your acts of worship and the rest of your life inshallah ta'ala.